one last thing in the status bar is uh, in the far right corner of the uh, bar we click on customization and make sure that the dynamic input is turned on or check okay so check this one uh, actually you can toggle on off the icons that appear on your status bar through this customization uh, setting okay? or options so make sure that dynamic input is uh, checked and everything else is fine and then just click again customization and make sure that this is turned on okay currently i'm turned off so turn it on so it lights up okay so whenever we invoke autocad to do a command it's for example line so type l enter and there on my crosshair the dynamic input appears replicating what is written on the command line but i repeat uh, because the uh, area allotted for the dynamic input is limited it cannot contain all the informations contained also in the command line so that's why it's very important to maintain your communication in autocad through the command line make sure that your relationship is stable uh, by a continual or continuous communication just like in uh, our current uh, situations please continue to pray and communicate to our almighty maintain our good relationship to our creator okay so god bless everyone now uh, moving on Tra just uh, press escape and try to turn off that uh, dynamic input icon okay so click on that to turn that off and then try to invoke again the line command so type l and then enter or spacebar and then there nothing is appearing now on the crosshair only on the command prompt okay that's why i always turned it this on on my stats bar okay so whenever that's turned on the dynamic input appears and it's very important that uh, my focus will always be on the crosshair and from time to time i'll just be looking at the uh, dynamic i know the command line okay so the dynamic input provides a much more convenient way of viewing what are the prompts written on the command line however i repeat uh, due to the limited space provided for the dynamic input it cannot contain all the informations that could be contained or could be fitted in the command line okay so that's why we need to still look at the command prompt from time to time so just uh, press escape to end the or exit or cancel the command. To continue with our superhero series, we take a closer look at the command center where we summon all our powers to conquer all of Outcad universe. And to do that, we use the command line window to enter our commands. And that we invoke AutoCAD to perform specific tasks in conjunction with our dynamic input as well as the command icons here in the ribbon. Uh, similar with clean screen, we can toggle to hide or unhide command line window by pressing Ctrl 9 on our keyboards. And after pressing Ctrl 9, AutoCAD asks you if you want to close the command line window. And it tells you that to display it again, just uh, press Ctrl 9 again. So just click yes. And there, it's gone. But of course, we want to have it uh, there smiling at us. So make it appear by indeed pressing Ctrl 9 again. The uh, command line window is actually a tool palette. And just like other palettes, we could uh, click and drag it anywhere in the uh, drawing area to float it. Okay, you could float it anywhere the drawing area. So click and drag uh, along this uh, airbender Shaolin dots, and just click and drag to float it anywhere the drawing area. Also, we can. Uh, anchor it or down 
but uh, for other pallets you could anchor it to the side and left or right but uh, for the command line window we could anchor it on only to the top and bottom edge of the drawing area also we could uh, dock this to the ribbon or to the status bar okay but uh, if, if you notice it takes some space so we don't like it so just drag it up again and then move it to its original default location we can even expand it to any size you want by like win just any windows so from left we have here to close okay we could close it and then but uh, no for this time and then just after close we have there the customization the wrench like uh, icon there click on that and by default your command line automatically completes the name of a command by just typing its first letter while uh, providing you some suggestions related to that command example let's uh, press escape so escape first and then type l on your keyboards there automatically it completes a line command and provides other suggestions related to the l uh, command okay or l uh, letter okay so these are the different uh, commands that has letter L to it to escape going back to the uh, customization or customize input settings so input settings actually toggle these uh, suggestions options okay so auto complete so L it will complete line etc auto correct if uh, you have misspelled uh, commands before it would provide you some suggestions also it would also provide some uh, searches concerning system variables and we will be uh, just a bit or minor we will be uh, tinkering on some system variables later on the tutorial uh, search content will also search when you type uh, something on the command line it would also search uh, name uh, items such as layers and blocks okay and it will also search for example we type l any word that contains uh, letter l be it on the first uh, letter of the word or at the middle of the uh, word and delay time it would uh, set the delay time when the suggestions will expand or show but uh, just leave it as is it is also already good under the lines of uh, prompt history you'd notice that if you click that one it is currently set to three okay so you may notice this one the command clip prompt lines it's first it's the first tier of the three lines okay of command prompt history so once i escape it will show at least three tiers okay but that's not necessary because we could just click in here to show our command history we could also expand that to show the uh, previous commands that we have done and just uh, click it again and oh by the way we could also access that this one we click here uh, to show the history our command prompt history or we could press the key function F2 to show that history of our command. And then F2 again to toggle it. And back to the customize. Input search options. This is already the default. So leave it as is. It's already good. Transparency. You can make this more uh, transparent. But uh, this is already good for me. And then, of course, you could access also here the options where you could uh, just do it with right click also. So, options. It's the same options that uh, comes out when, when we do right click and then options. Escape. 
And then after the customize, we have here the recent commands. So clicking that shows your recent commands. Escape. And that's it for the command center. And next will be the dreaded hieroglyphs.